This year in the Beaufort High School STEAM class, we have been uh, mentoring new 8th grade students. My name is Mason Lambert and this is Madison Sloan and our other two group members are Eric Smith and Joseph Eli. So our area of focus, we had 20 middle school 8th graders that we selected to gain experience and knowledge of uh, STEAM, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. The mentorship role enabled us to kind of inspire them and just get kind of a different perspective of what high school is going to be and get them started in the program early. That way they would have a little bit more experience when they started. The 8th graders focused on designing and building robots, learning coding and wiring to operate the robots they built. They synthesized gold and silver nanoparticles using new herbs and available, available in our region for a detection method of cancer. And by doing this, I believe we can build an interest in the students chosen in the same curriculum and kind of a different career path after high school just because they're getting a look into it before the rest of the middle school classes, so they're getting a little bit extra time with it. So the robotic arm project is my group. Um, their names are Victoria, Davlin, Maddie, Ty, and Olivia. Inspiration. Originally, uh, the project was going to be to be able to create a uh, bowling ball or just a ball that we could control. It would have a gyroscope and stuff like that to be able to stabilize it and move forward. And um, we were not able to get all the parts necessary to be able to create this project, so we moved on to something that we'd actually be able to complete, so we made a robotic arm. Um, they succeeded in creating a robotic arm that was able to perform tasks like moving objects and stuff. The students in this group used the Arduino starter kit to be able to uh, learn coding and be able to actually put their coding to actual physical use. Uh, the Arduino kit comes with LEDs, wires, a Ar Arduino board, and a breadboard. This video is just them showing the coding that they have completed after a little bit of So you can really hear it, but in the video they were they programmed the LED lights on the breadboard to be able to light up in a pattern. So the uh, completed robot arm, this video will show you how that arm works. So they had it connected to the Arduino software, which you can see right here on the computer, and that was controlling the robot with the code. The nanoparticles was my group and my project, and the names for my group was Meredith, Justice, Kendall Starr, Riley Johnson, Heather Hatfield, Marielle, Rustar, and Darby Thompson, and then we were doing gold and silver nanoparticles. The goal we wanted to achieve with this was using plant extracts to cap the gold and silver nanoparticles. Capping just stabilizes it so it doesn't inhibit overgrowth. And we're able to test kudzu, sunflower, zucchini, tomato, bitter melon, and a few other things. And we tested those for gold and silver and only tested for gold with a few different extracts, but we tried to test at least every one with both. And the bottom you can see is the silver, and then the top is what it looks like when we have the gold. And this is kind of what it looks like, the absorbance and wavelength of it. So we recorded UV spectrum of it using a spectrometer in our steam lab, and the absorbance peak at 420 and 450 mEMs are the presence of silver nanoparticles, and 520 to 540 is the presence of gold. So when it's closer, back through here, it's for silver, and the further it gets that way, it's for gold. And the use of plants on to extract nanoparticles in the future 
is invasive plants can be used as a capping agent, which also gets rid of plants that are bad for the area or are damaging to the environment as a whole. And the nanoparticles can be used to identify cancer cells, which is also just helpful in the medical field and everywhere in the world, really. And we can, in the future, use extract from pomegranate leaves, golden sea leaves, sassafras leaves, spike nerd, cranes bill, and many other things to test to see if we can synthesize golden super nanoparticles with those plants. We'd like to thank uh, the principal at the middle school, uh, Mr. Keith May, for giving us the opportunity to bring the students to the high school and actually let them participate in this program for so long. And we want to thank our principal, Mr. Gannon, at Belfry High School for also allowing us to use the same lab to do this. And the funding was provided by KVEC to carry out these projects. And obviously, the mentors, we've been doing a lot this class to try to help them and give them a good opportunity. And we just want to thank the students themselves for actually coming up here and participating because without them, there wouldn't be a program at all.